Hello everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video. So guys, in this video, I will show you how to resolve the libgl exception as you can see on my screen. That basically occurs while we are importing OpenCV package within Lambda function via Lambda layers. So here the error says that unable to import module lambda underscore function followed by libgl.so.1 and it says cannot open a shared file object, no such file or directory. Right, so this ideally occurs while we are dealing with the OpenCV package via Lambda layers in different runtimes. So guys, uh, before some time, I did posted a video on AWS Lambda with OpenCV via layers, as you can see on my screen. And in that video, I have used Python 3.6 uh, as a runtime, which basically uses Amazon Linux in the backend. And when we build OpenCV layer for uh, runtime Python 3.6 and use it within the Lambda function, it does not raise that uh, libgl exception, correct? So guys, it's because I think the libgl.so uh, already exists within Amazon Linux, that is the operating system that Amazon uses uh, in backend for the Lambda function, right? However, uh, when we try to build the OpenCV layer for uh, other runtime like Python 3.8 or Python 3.9, then it throws the libgl exception, correct? So now the question is that how we can resolve this? So basically OpenCV Python depends on Qt package, which is a GUI package and Qt package depends on X11 related libraries. And ideally server environments does not have GUI packages installed, right? Which is the kind of a cause for this error. And on the other side, we cannot uh, manually uh, install this libgl into the Lambda function, correct? So what we are going to do here today is we are going to reproduce this error Right, and then we will uh, work on the uh, fix of that error. Okay, so let's get started. So guys, uh, to get started, I already have this EC2 instance, which I am going to use to build the uh, Lambda layer packages for OpenCV, correct? And I have used Ubuntu 20.04. Okay, so I will quickly SSH into that instance. Let me load this. So here we have the public IP address and I will say SSH hyphen I followed by the identity file that is flask.pem followed by the username at the rate IPv4 address and I will say enter. I will say yes. So here we have successfully logged in into this EC2 instance. So what we are going to do here is the very first command is sudo app get update. And once the update is done, we are going to check the Python version. I will say Python 3 iPhone V that is for version. And it says Python 3.8, right? So we are going to use this Python 3.8 runtime in the Lambda function as well. Okay, so we are not going to upgrade this to Python 3.9. However, we can do that, right? If you want to build the package for Python 3.9 uh, runtime. Okay, but uh, at this point of time, we will reuse this Python 3.8, okay? Now the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say make a directory says build and I will say go to build okay and to install the package we will need pip3 that is the python package manager let's check so it's not installed so let's install that first. So guys, now here, as you can see, we have successfully installed the Python package manager that is pip3. So I'm going to clear this screen now. And here I will say, uh, create a directory called as Python. Okay. And then what we are going to do is we are going to say pip3 install opencv-python to hyphen t that is for the target directory. So we are saying that install this opencv-python into this python directory that we have just created. Okay, and then we will say enter. So now it's installing opencv-python into the python directory and it has successfully installed that. Now I will say clear. So basically there are two ways to configure directory structure for lambda layers. So either you can create a single folder that is python and install all the packages into that directory or either you can create a, a long path followed by python slash python version that is python 3.8 in this case followed by site packages and within that site packages uh, you can install that opencv package 
But guys, here in this case, we will use a single directory that is Python and install all the packages into that Python directory. Okay, so now here we have successfully installed the OpenCV into this Python directory as you can see on my screen. And now we need to zip this file. So for that, we need to install uh, a zip functionality or the zip package. So here I will say sudo apt install zip and it is installed successfully. Now we are going to zip this uh, directory, right? So I will say zip hyphen r followed by, I will say open cv, I will say reproduce something like this, dot zip followed by dot because I want to zip the current directory. So now it's kind of uh, zipping or compressing all the uh, content of that uh, folder into a zip file. Now it is successful. If we say ls, then here we have the opencv reproducezip file. And now we are going to upload this file to one of my S3 buckets. So here I will say AWS, but I think AWS CLI is not installed. So I will say sudo apt install AWS CLI. And here, as you can see, AWS CLI is successfully installed. So I'm going to say AWS S3 copy. Uh, let me do ls first. I'll say AWS S3 copy. What I want to copy, I want to copy open CV hyphen reproduce dot zip to which bucket. So I'll say S3 colon recognit. I want to upload this zip file to this bucket and I will say enter. And the upload is successful. I will do exit from here. Okay. And now we will go to that S3 bucket. And here I will search for a cognate. Here it is. And as you can see, here we have that file that is opencv reproducezip We are going to click on that and copy this object URL. Now, as the next step, we are going to create Lambda layer. Okay, so navigate to Lambda Management Console and click on layers from the left panel. And here we will say create layer. Give it a name. I will say opencv reproduce something like this. And as a next step, we are going to say upload a file from Amazon S3 and paste that URL. Okay. And within compatible runtimes, we will say Python 3.8 and we will say create. Now, while this Lambda layer is being created, let's create a new Lambda function. So navigate to Lambda management console, click on functions from the left panel and say create function. I will simply name it as OpenCV. RP something like this and I will select runtime as Python 3.8 and within permission I'm going to select use an existing role and here I will say lambda underscore role and I will say create function and here the function is created successfully and if we check opencv layer and it is also created successfully okay now we are going to scroll down to layers and say add a layer here select custom layers and from the drop down we are going to select the opencv layer that we have just created that is opencv hyphen reproduce and we are going to select the version that is one and say add now here we have successfully added the opencv uh, package as a part of the lambda layer and now within source code we can say import cv2 Okay, and say deploy. And now once the uh, package or the code is deployed, we are going to test it out. So click on test and we will say test. And now as you can see, it returned the same error that is unable to import module lambda function libgl dot uh, so dot one cannot open shared object file, no such file or directory. Right, so now let's try to resolve this error. Now to resolve this, we will go back to our terminal and we are going to SSH again into that EC2 instance. Okay. And we are into that instance. I will say clear. I will say LS. I will say CD build. And here I am going to remove this Python directory and the zip file as well. I will say rm r python and then I will say rm r open cv reproduce.zip. Okay. 
now we are going to create the directory again that is mkdir python and then we will say pip3 install opencv hyphen python hyphen headless okay and then we will say hyphen t to the target directory and say enter so as i mentioned earlier uh, ideally server environments does not have the gui packages so they are basically headless right so that's where uh, we are also installing opencv uh, python as headless right so it, it is not kind of dependent on the qt package okay so that's the reason uh, we are installing opencv hyphen python hyphen headless package instead of opencv hyphen python okay now uh, opencv package is installed successfully now as the next step we are going to zip that so i will say zip hyphen r give it a name i will say opencv fix dot zip c dot and now the zip file is created successfully so we can do ls and again we will say aws s3 copy opencv hyphen fix dot zip to the target bucket that is s3 call and recognit okay and the upload is successful i will say exit from here now let's go back to that bucket that is recognit and look for the file that we have just uploaded that is opencv hyphen fix click on that and we are going to copy the object url go back to the lambda layers and open opencv hyphen reproduce or whatever layer that you have created and say create a new version now here we will again say upload a file from amazon s3 and paste that object url and within compatible runtime we are going to select python 3.8 and say create so now here we have successfully created the opencv uh, version 2 okay now we can go back to our lambda function scroll down to the lambda layers say add it okay and here instead of version 1 we are going to say select version 2 okay and say save and once it is updated we are going to say test this lambda function again and as you can see it's running fine now okay it returns status code 200 and now we don't have that error that is libgl exception so guys this is how you can uh, basically resolve that error which is kind of libgl no such file or directory okay and i hope uh, uh, i was able to explain that why we need uh, opencv headless right it's because ideally server environments does not have the gui packages uh, pre-installed right and and that is kind of uh, causing that error right because opencv python is dependent on one of the gui package that is qt package and that package is dependent on x, x double one related libraries so that's the reason it was throwing an exception and now since we installed opencv headless uh, this exception has gone and now we can uh, kind of use opencv in our lambda function for different runtimes and same stands for python 3.9 as well so guys uh, that's all for this video until the time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time